Thanks for tuning in to Sleep Better TV. I'm Scott Drake. We continue our discussion with Dr. Larry Pribble with the Center for TMJ and Sleep Apnea in Independence, Missouri. In this segment, we're talking about the relationships between TMJ, trigeminal neuralgia, fibromyalgia, migraines, and tinnitus. Uh, Dr. Pribble, welcome back. Uh, is it very common that you see these health issues associated with TMJ problems? Uh, yes, Scott. Some of the more common health issues we see patients present with are, uh, are trigeminal neuralgia, where the patient realizes certain triggers that elicit a, a sharp stabbing or burning pain in their face. And some triggers may just be simply brushing their teeth or having cold wind blow across their face. So patients with a diagnosed TMJ problem can also have symptoms very similar to those of trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, fibromyalgia is uh, characterized by a widespread pain and neck pain, joint stiffness, and some difficulty swallowing, along with difficulty sleeping. Uh, and these TMJ symptoms can be associated with uh, neck pain as well and joint stiffness. And so there is a, an overlap of symptoms making it more difficult to make the correct diagnosis. And migraines uh, usually manifest themselves uh, unilaterally, lasting from a couple of days uh, down to a couple hours. Uh, but associated symptoms may include sensitivity to light or sound or smell or nausea. Uh, and headaches, by the way, happen to be the most common symptom of a patient who does have a TMJ problem. And then there's tinnitus or ringing in the ears. That can come from several sources, ranging from ear infections or extreme noise, emotional stress or medication, and even a diagnosed a TMJ problem. And within our scope of practice, we see a very strong relationship between the tinnitus and certain kinds of TMJ problems. So, Doctor, how is it that these problems can be related or associated with each other? What is the correlation between them? Well, the the TMJ, the, the trigeminal neuralgia, fibromyalgia, migraines, tinnitus are, are related uh, by way of the trigeminal nerve involvement or input. And the trigeminal nerve can have an, an effect and an impact on all of these and be a major player in them. And, and also, you know, these are uh, inflammatory conditions uh, coupled with, with pain. So they exhibit referral patterns uh, within these where one issue can make it seem like it's something else, and it can be a challenge to get the right diagnosis with the way the symptoms overlap. And so therein lies the challenge uh, to come up with the correct diagnosis so we can provide the correct treatment for the patients. And Dr. Pribble, what are some of the other health care providers you work with that provide care for treating these problems? Well, some of the other healthcare providers that uh, that we work with uh, are a neurologist, a rheumatologist, ear, nose, and throat specialists (ENTs), uh, endocrinologists, pulmonologists, physical therapists, chiropractors. Uh, it takes a team effort, a collaboration, and working together many times to solve the pain puzzle for the patient. My guest has been Dr. Larry Pribble, uh, again with the Center for TMJ and Sleep Apnea in Independence, Missouri. Dr. Pribble, thank you again. You bet. Thank you, Scott. And thanks for watching Sleep Better TV.